Welcome everybody. I'm back out with another read. So let's jump into it, guys. We're gonna see what's brewing. What messages we can get from spirit. So we can know what's coming ahead within the next few days. Okay. This is a collective read, guys. So some may resonate and it may not resonate with all. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Be sure to hit the like button and share, okay? If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. I think I just saw this energy in my last read. Okay, so somebody's trying to get rid of some evidence of being married or already being in a commitment. Somebody's trying to get rid of that evidence, okay? Somebody's trying to literally, like, act like it never happened, okay? Okay. There's a lot of gossiping going on about this situation. There's a lot of gossiping going on about this, okay? About whether or not someone is already in a relationship or already married. Um, there's a lot of gossip going on. People just sitting back with their popcorn, just sitting back, soaking it up. Soaking it up. The situation is old, though. It's outdated. It's old news. It's something that's, you know, people are gossiping about it, but people are kind of like, yeah, that's old. We been knew that. Everybody knew that. We been knew. How they ain't knew. We been knew that. Okay, so. Somebody's getting played because somebody's living in the fantasy world. And they refuse to look at the reality of the situation. So the only thing that they're going to be attracting is manipulation, liars, control freaks, somebody who's pulling the strings. Like, it's, that's what their this situation is attracting. More bull, bullshit, okay? Then we got a big-ass hater right here. Hater. You got some big hate and energy, okay? I'm hearing people say, that's old. We knew, everybody knew that. And then they tried to get rid of it, trying to act like we don't know, and try to get rid of the evidence. But somebody could have been playing, somebody could have been um, dealing with someone on the side and... We got gym, meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, doing more than working out. So that's definitely a third party. Hmm. Give me one more card. Somebody's trying to get the facts, okay? So be careful. They look, they both look the same. Salt or sugar. Looks can be deceiving. Somebody's being deceived because somebody is either married, already in the commitment. Somebody's trying to get some facts, okay? It could be a third party trying to get some information, trying to get the facts straight, okay? She's looking for the evidence, okay? Well, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence of, of a marriage or where's the evidence of a divorce? Where's the evidence? And people are just talking and gossiping and gossiping and gossiping about it. But people are saying, yeah, that's old. Everybody already knew that. So what this person is attracting to herself is being played, getting played. But she could be over here calling people, y'all hating, y'all hating. Yeah, the situation toxic. 
The situation is toxic. This karmic trying to stay centered, but really, she's upset. Okay, she's upset. She's around here calling everybody a hater. Y'all some haters. Y'all mad because y'all want them. Dot, 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 woo, woo, woo. But the truth of the matter is, is that it got to be some type of truth somewhere in it. Okay, if everybody else is like, you know, yeah, we, we, we knew. Everybody saw that. We knew. Mm. Mm, okay that's a lot that is a lot so let's go ahead and find out what else what's going on between this masculine and this karmic What's going on between his masculine and his karmic? Hmm, interesting. Somebody trying to get rid of the evidence. Trying to cover up. Okay, what else? Somebody think that they could just start over. Like somebody could think that they could just, you know, erase some things and just start over from scratch because they like, oh no, I ain't, that ain't go right. Do over. Let, I don't, we ain't do that one right. We ain't, that one ain't come out right. Let's do it over. Somebody think that it's simple as that. But the thing about it is that somebody keeping a big ass damn secret. Nine of Swords. And they worry about it getting out. Somebody said that they were single. When well, I don't think they were single. Now they over here juggling. And they're very indecisive. They're very anxious, nervous. Mm -hmm. Hiding. I'm hearing. I'm not sure if I can hold it in much longer. Okay, I'm getting Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Okay. It could be any sign. But this, these are the signs that are sticking out to me. I'm hearing I'm not sure if I can hold it in much longer. This masculine got two females. If he married, quote unquote, two wives. Okay, what I'm hearing is this masculine could come to you because he's tired of dealing with it. I'm seeing a divorce on the table. Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. The divorce is on the table. Divorce papers, whatever, they're on the table. But I'm hearing, waiting for waiting for uh, things, the process to move along. Because right now he in a temporary situation. 
but it's it's moving forward. But he still it's still on his mind how he uh was how he handled the situation with that five of swords. I'm hearing change somebody's last name to see what she's gonna say. But the relationship ended up falling apart. So it ain't matter. It ain't matter at the time. I'm hearing take it how you want to take it. You can see what you're gonna see. Yeah, this masculine, he don't want to start over. So he done established something elsewhere because, and now he's afraid of the secret, some type of secret getting out, but he don't want to have to start over. He don't want to have to start all over. That's wack and corny. Why the Queen of Pentacles here? I'm hearing he wish he could have. He wish that it was that simple, but it's not that simple. Okay. This masculine over here. Is he's he's in contemplative contemplative mode. Five of Swords. He feels so stupid. He feels so dumb. Yep. He feels stupid. He's afraid to look stupid in front of everybody. King of Wands and the Six of Cups. So he feels like he should go back, okay? See what his mind is on is on the past. And I'm hearing since he didn't get a divorce yet, everybody going to be mad at him if they knew what, what was going on. So he's worried about everybody being mad at him. He's worried about that. See, this masculine over here stressed the hell out. The devil could be a Capricorn. But see, the truth, some type of truth got out about this connection that he's in. I feel like he was waiting once the truth got out. He was kind of like waiting to see what was going to happen. But I feel like there was ended up being some type of split. And somebody left for good. I'm hearing take your own advice. Okay. This masculine is a jerk. Okay, so why is the two of swords here? Yep, seven of swords. He's not sure how he gonna get away with it. He's not sure. I'm hearing somebody saying that they're not man enough. And somebody wants to see wants you to see how something feels. I'm hearing all them times I asked you for to be in a relationship. You wait till now. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody saying that. Ten of Wands. This masculine not sure what to do. He burdened. He thinking about his life falling apart. This this masculine whole everything is falling apart. Bad. I 
I'm hearing that this masculine is tired of being away from you though. Because I feel like y'all friendship was just was was good. Okay, y'all had a good friendship. But this masculine just don't feel like he's man enough for you. This masculine could be dealing with the karmic. This karmic, I'm getting Leo with the sun and the strength card here. Or a Libra. But I'm hearing what goes around comes around. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you said that you was going to wait for me. But then you left and said. You knew you was going to see something. Okay. that's he, he, he coming up with excuses. Now, feeling burdened. Not sure what to do. Ooh. Yeah, he feel like he got to make it. He know that he got to make some type of final decision. Because he done told everybody he left for real. He signed the papers already. You'll see in a few. Um, so he told, he's telling everybody in the karmic and everybody who is affiliated on that end. that he signed the papers already. So this is for a married couple. And going through a divorce or separation. He, he's trying. He's not putting. He didn't put in any effort at all though. He's feeling like. You know me and the karmic going to break up. Eventually so what's the point. Now while the seven of wands is here. Yeah he feels so tore up on, on inside. Tower and five of wands. I feel like he's got, got this panic energy. I'm here and start taking it serious. Okay, so he feels like he has to start taking things more serious, but he's not sure exactly how to do it. Okay, and he feels silly because he feels like he should, you know, he's been extremely toxic in the past. He's, you know, didn't do things the, the proper way. He said that he was single when he was definitely not single. Yep, single man, the emperor, and the nine of pentacles. So he was act, behaving very single. Okay, we got strength and the star here. He was very much so, um, very much feeling himself. Could have been, like I said, could be a Leo or an Aquarius or a king of pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm hearing that um, he told this karmic that, you know, he wasn't with anybody. He's not in a relationship at the time. Um Maybe he didn't think that their that their connection was going to get the, as far as it did. But he's now realizing that he should have gave it some thought. Because now he feel like his world is crashing in on him. And it, he feel like things have gotten way too far. And it make him think that he should have never, you know, took it that far. Never should have got in a relationship with the karmic. Never should have took it that far. But he was having fun. The Knight of Wands and the Sun, they was having fun. The Karmic was offering him gifts and giving him money. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So he left the connection. He left the marriage. Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Justice. And the world. He ended it. I'm hearing everybody knew that was going to happen except for you. Now we got the Queen of Cups over here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You could be a water sign. Or the Karmic could be a water sign. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. Yeah, the death. I'm here. It don't even matter no more. Stay where you at. So this could be your energy. You could be feeling like it don't even matter no more. This masculine. Yeah, the feel, it don't feel the same. King of Cups. You said you was in a relationship with, with the Carmen? Okay, well, stay over there. Now, the masculine over here in his regret energy, guilt energy with this five of cups, ten of cups. He feel like it was fun while I'm hearing fun while it lasted. Fun while it lasted. That's what I'm hearing. The masculine saying it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like this masculine is having big regrets about a connection. He's having regrets. He wasn't ready for the connection at the time. Um he feels like this connection comes with too much too much 
baggage or too too many now the knight of pentacles is here this is giving me like younger children um and maybe you think that you guys would be better off as friends maybe he could get advice from you on how to do things but i feel like you feel like this connection is too damaged and he fell in love with somebody else i feel like it was a mo it was a bunch of times I feel like it was other people, Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords. And he doesn't feel like he could keep your attention or you keep his. But I feel like he felt like it, I'm hearing it was fun while it lasted. Okay, now we got the just, I'm sorry, temperance as the outcome. Could be a Sagittarius. And the King of Swords. So... This happened during the separation because the four of wands and the four of swords is here. This is definitely like a separation, like y'all being separated from each other, whether it's a connection or a marriage. If you've been with this person for a long time, then this could be like a serious commitment. But I'm getting a separation. And I feel like this happened during the separation. But it fell apart. Yep. It started falling apart during the separation. Okay, so things started seriously falling apart during the separation. During the separation. Yep, he's not ready for, for what you're asking for. The type of connection that you're asking for, this masculine is not ready for that. Okay, he's not. He's not ready for that type of commitment. He's not ready. He was not ready. So, this is a very touchy situation. Um, but I definitely do feel like it's better to know this type of information so you can know how to move, okay? So let's see what action he's going to take towards you. And I feel like these are thoughts. These are his thoughts because he's in hermit mode right now, contemplating. He's not sure how to deal with the situation that he's in because he's dealing with a, a karmic when he's still in a commitment with you. recognition nostalgia yeah see you're on his mind and he is considering like returning okay but there is a some there is um a separation here so there's a, you and this person are in separation and they're thinking about how to either compromise with you or if they want to return to you okay you've been on their mind a lot lately But they've been vibing. They've been vibing with a karmic, with a third party, okay? Yes, they've been vibing. Mm -hmm. They've been kicking it real hard with a third party. Very hard, okay? During this separation. I feel like they're on the same frequency. Yeah, he feels stuck. Mm -hmm. He feels stuck because him and his third party, they've been kicking it real hard, okay? They've been vibing. Now, he's having some regrets, okay, about the connection. He has major regrets about this connection. Um, tell me more. But he feels, he feels stuck. He's trapped. He is trapped. Okay, and he's trying to release something. He knows that he needs to release something here. He feels bound to the situation. Like, there could even be some spell work involved. I feel like this masculine is still very much so attached to you, addicted to you in some way, shape, or form. But he's stuck in a situation with a karmic. He's stuck in a situation. He's trying to figure out how to fix it. He's not sure how to put this connection back together. Yeah, I'm getting like this masculine has been in solitude from you. Y'all even have y'all even haven't even been around each other. This person hasn't speaking or anything. And this may have been happened. This may have happened back in the winter. Now we are going into summer. Okay? Now we are going into summer and you still haven't heard from this person. 
The spirit say in divine time, and that mask gonna end up falling off. Okay, so the mask getting ready to fall off. Okay. And I feel like there's some healing that needs to happen. Some healing that needs to go on. Okay. Spirit has been working on this person and giving this person signs that they need to release some things. Okay. They need to let some things go. Okay. They settled for something out of fear. Okay. And I see this masculine did offer you some type of commitment that they did not keep. Okay. Family. Family could be involved, could be in his ear. And he's been doing a lot of drinking and smoking, trying to numb himself and trying to keep himself from taking action towards you. Um, and he's trying to hold back from communicating to you, reaching out to you. Yep. Bound and destruction. Ooh. Mm. I feel like there's no forgiveness in this connection because we got barrier. You could have blocked this person. <laughs> this person probably can't even reach you. The answer is no and forgiveness. There's no forgiveness in this situation. Some of y'all aren't going to forgive this person. We got destruction and bound. Whatever they did was real messed up. It, tore, it, it shook the whole foundation. And see, the thing about it is, is this person knows that they took this situation extremely too far. They know it. They all booed up and everything with a third party when they know good and well that they were supposed to be fixing this connection with you. But instead, they took they ass over there where they got paid to lay up and be, you know, whatever, whatever. They took their ass over there and did that. All right, let's see what this person want to say to you. And then we're going to head out. All right. What does this masculine want to say to the bottom for me? I want you. I'm afraid to contact you. They want to reach out to you, but they're scared. Okay, they, they don't know what to say to you right now. We will be together again. I'm starting to understand our connection. And my life is not as together as it seems. This person is wishing that they had treated you better. They wishing that they treated you better. Because now they're in a position to where they feel stuck. They feel some type of way. They don't feel free. They don't feel free. They feel trapped. Very much caged, trapped, listening to advice from everybody else, doing things out of lack, from a lack of energy. Oh, I don't have the funds, so I'm going to go over here and be with her because she has the funds. Or I'm going to go do, like, that's very much so low vibrational. Okay? That's very low vibrational. All right, so that's what I got, guys. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. As well, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, that information is in the comment section. So it's pinned in the comment section on how to reach out to me and contact me via email. You'll get your reading within 24 hours. As well, guys, it's $25. Currently, at the moment, it's $25 for new clients. So if you're new and you haven't gotten a reading with me before, you can get the rate of $25, okay? So until next time, guys, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.